Continuing on with our study of short stories and literature, let's learn about characterization. So, what we're going to do for this lesson is I'm going to share with you another little short story called Dr. Flanagan versus the Zombies. Then we're going to learn what a protagonist is and most importantly how you recognize them. Then we're also going to learn what a foil is and what an antagonist is. Finally, there are other archetypes called the tragic hero and the anti-hero. So, let's tell a little story about Dr. Flanagan versus the zombies. It had been three days since they fled the zombie hordes. Most of the zombies had spread from downtown to the suburbs, but had went out to spread this far out to the country. The abandoned farmhouse was quiet, except for the crackling of a fire beneath the hearth. Fernando kept his AR-15 set to single shot on his lap. He still had his marine issue night vision goggles. He peered out into the snow floating down on the roads in the distance. Christine had only her journal, a black pen, and a Spartan pack of supplies. She scribbled words down like a tireless monk in the dark ages. Dr. Flanagan looked at them both for a bit from behind the table. He sighed relief at the moment of safety. At least the three of them had made it out. Then he turned to the various dissected pieces of laptop computers on the table in front of him. The candle made it hard to see, but he was driven. He was driven both by fading adrenaline and bone gnawing guilt. Okay, I've introduced three characters, Fernando, Christina, and Dr. Flanagan. Now, who's a protagonist? Well, a protagonist is the main character of the story. And this main character is going to be making decisions and actions that are going to change the story somehow. Usually that's how it works. And the protagonist is going to go through the most change by the end of the story. Now, if you've done the, re the writing course, you can remember Meg and Wrinkle in Time and how she went through a change throughout that entire story. Now, how do we recognize what a main character protagonist is? Well, one clue is that we spend a lot of time with that character. And then secondly, we usually see things from the character's perspective. Now, what do I mean by perspective? Well, it means a story is told as if there's a little, you know, imp on this character's shoulder with a video camera and we're getting the story like that. And we also have a good idea of what this character thinks and feels. So think about the three characters I've given you so far. I gave you Fernando, but I show you or let you know what Fernando was feeling. You could imagine, but you didn't really have any access to his thought life. The same thing with Christine. You might ask why is she writing stuff down? Why is that important to her? But I didn't give you any indication of her emotional state, at least not right in here. But with Dr. Flanagan, I said that he was looking across the table. I told you that he was a little frustrated. You know, I gave you an indication that he was working really hard and that he felt guilty and that he had a big adrenaline rush that was going away. All that is a description of the character's inner emotional life. And I'm telling you some other things from his perspective. Let's continue on with Doc Flanagan versus the zombies. <laughs> 